Well, welcome to Divine Lotus Tarot. We're going to take a look at who is engaging in reckless death magic against those of you who have been being spiritually and psychically bullied where it's unwarranted and deserved. But before we get into that, I do want to invite you all to book a personal private session with me through my website www.divinelotustarot.com and you can find the link to that website in the box below this video also i want to invite you all to follow and support my other social media platforms and you can find the information and the links to those below this video as well too so yes we are going to take a look at those of you who have been getting spiritually and psychically bullied um just consistently by individuals that think it's cute and think it's funny to engage in reckless death magic um and they're doing it towards individuals where it's unwarranted where it's undeserved and these individuals should really be seeking professional mental help instead of taking their self-hatred out on you so we are going to start with the sun sign of sagittarius and go through each of the zodiac signs and end with Scorpio. Now keep in mind um, whether this is your sun placement or you have it in another specific placement in your birth chart for each of the zodiac signs. Just feel free to watch all that may apply to you. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into it. So for those of you with significant placements of Sagittarius in your birth chart, we have the Queen of Cups coming out. So this is a very strong uh, Cancerian um, energy that we're picking up. So this is um, someone who holds the energy of they could be a sun sign cancer or they have very strong significant placements of cancer in their birth chart. We also have other zodiac sign energies coming through. We have cancer again, so that's confirming that energy again. We have Pisces, okay, we have Scorpio, so all the water signs are here, which connects with that Queen of Cups energy. We have the zodiac sign of Sagittarius, so it could be other Sagittarius individuals. We have the zodiac sign of Gemini, and we have the zodiac sign of Libra here, okay? Now we also have the energy of a wife um, and husband. So this definitely could be um, two individuals who are a married couple. Um, this also could be your own wife or your husband um, or just separately to individuals who um, may not be in a relationship together, but it's someone else's wife and someone else's husband. Okay, we have the sister energy here. So this could be your own sister. This could be someone else's sister or someone who you consider. Okay, or you once looked at like a sister. Um, we have an uncle energy here. So this could be your uncle or someone else's uncle. We have other relative energies. So this could be individuals who are considered like cousins, nieces, nephews, and other extended relatives that are not in your immediate family. Um, we have someone who's middle age here. And then we also have uh, friends and associates. So these could be your friends and associates or friends and associates of these other individuals who have some type of interest in doing this death magic towards you and then we also have um, male energy so it could be men okay so what it looks like is they're doing this um, magic towards you all because you seem to um, be moving in a direction where you're you know moving towards your dreams and your goals a lot of you could be um, very ambitious or goal oriented and I feel these individuals are very um, intimidated and they're jealous of the fact that you want to live life and um, move forward with your life for a lot of you these are a lot of um, family energies what I'm seeing around you so I feel like these are family members um, but then I'm also seeing love being very strongly um, so I feel like these are just individuals who constantly stay getting tarot readings on you or doing tarot readings on you or looking in your astrology and your birth chart for a lot of you this could have been going on since your birth since you were younger where these are individuals that have been using this against you and then others of you have had like people who you grew up with who were constantly doing this towards you um, and then essentially you know um, using this in in a way to try to intervene um, in your blessings coming in so essentially that's what these individuals are doing trying to block your blessings from coming in it looks like in all areas but more specifically the, sh the strongest thing I keep seeing is about you moving forward with new love and a new love interest that you're coming into contact with 
So for those of you with significant placements of Capricorn in your birth chart, we have the Six of Swords energy out here. So this could be someone who just has significant placements of air in their birth chart. Um, the zodiac signs that we actually have out here is Capricorn. So it could be another Capricorn. We have Aquarius, we have Cancer, and we have Aries. And then the other energies we have out here is we have a wife energy. So this could be your wife or someone else's wife. We have married energy, so this could be reiterating someone who you are married to or a married couple. Um, we have legally separation, so this could be someone who you could be going through a legal separation with currently. Um, we have mother energy, so this could be your mom or someone else's mom. Um, we have a father energy, so this could be your father or someone else's father. We have, um, it could be someone who you have a baby boy with. Um, it could be other relatives, okay, that are not in your immediate family. Um, it could be a new lover who you've recently started seeing. Um, there could be exes of yours doing this. Um, someone who has a secret crush on you could be doing this, okay. Um, we have Mr. or Mistress Energy, so this could be um, pertaining to either someone who you are a Mr. or Mistress to, um, or someone who is your mister or mistress, okay? Or potentially someone else's mister or mistress, okay? And then we also have co-workers. So this could be other co-worker energies doing this, okay? Okay, so what I'm seeing with the Six of Swords being here, Capricorn, for some of you, you have like your own family members and the family members of whoever this um, individual is that you are wanting to leave the relationship with could be doing this reckless death magic towards you. Now, I'm also seeing in the instance, this could be whoever you're going to. It could be their family members or other people who are have some type of invested interest in them not having new love come into their life. I'm also seeing as well, too, that whoever you're trying to leave away from could be doing this towards the new lover that you're wanting to go towards so they could be doing reckless death magic towards the new person you're wanting to go towards and then i'm also seeing as well too that for some of you this could be um like people who you are who are in your work field who are trying to do this towards your career okay and then in other instances where some of you are already full-fledged in the process of moving through with a divorce already it could be the um, individual who you're leaving from trying to essentially just cause and create delays in the process so for those of you with significant placements of Aquarius in your birth chart we have the Empress energy coming up and the Empress is associated with the mother or the wife so this could be a mother or a wife figure in your life or someone that you know of okay the Empress is also associated with for me Libra and Taurus energy so these individuals could hold that um, energy as their Sun sign or just very strongly and prominently in their chart other signs that we have here um, zodiac signs we have coming up is Taurus energy so that's just reiterating that Taurus energy with the Empress card we have Scorpio we have Cancer, we have Sagittarius, and we have Gemini energy. We also have a husband energy, so it could be your husband or someone else's husband, um, potentially someone who you are in the role of husband to. Um, we have single people here that are doing this towards you. Um, we have an uncle energy, so yours or other individuals' uncles, a grandma energy. Um, this could be yours or other um, individuals grandma's energies and this also could be associated with that empress energy because it's maternal energy um, we have a grandpa energy yours or other individuals grandpa um, we have someone who you could potentially have a I'm hearing on the way you could potentially have a, a baby girl um, on the way with this individual so this could potentially be something that you're getting looked into um, or you're waiting to figure out if that is your child and then we also have um, co-workers so it could be other individuals who you work with or in your industry we have just females in general um, it could be someone who's grieving a death okay a recent death and and then it could just be other individuals where it's like you're trying actively to move away from these individuals but you're you're finding it very hard i'm hearing dragging so it could be individuals where there is some type of situation where something is like dragging or um 
take playing out like very slowly for you to move on from these individuals so um the theme here as well too is there's just a lot of in individuals energies um that keep coming up about them not wanting people to move on and start new lives or have new love lives or just move on away from people who are being um discovered as being you know greedy or just having some type of toxic codependent um nature about them that people no longer want to deal with and i see that same type of energy coming up in your reading it's individuals essentially specifically for those of you who are leaving um, relationships or marriages um it could be those individuals and then i'm just seeing other family members and whatnot that have some type of um leech or you know greedy nature um that don't want to see you essentially move on and away from them and get essentially financially be cut off and then you all have individuals that try to stay ahead of you by continuously getting um, psychic readings done on you. So for those of you with significant placements of Pisces in your birth chart, we have the three of Pentacles energy. So this could be individuals that hold significant placements of Earth in their birth chart. We have the energy, um, the zodiac sign energies coming through of Virgo and Libra. We also have, um, it could be young, um, like kids or teenagers, um, or young adults doing this. We have wife energy, so this could be your wife or, um, someone who you're the wife to. Um, it could be someone who's grieving a death, mourning a loss. Um, it could be your mother, someone else's mother. It could be someone who you're having legal issues with or um, someone who you're married to or another married individual. It could be your grandma or someone else's grandma, your aunt or someone else's aunt, someone who you have a baby boy with. Um, it could be a father figure is what I'm hearing. Um, it could be your sister or someone else's sister. It could be males. It could be someone who you are in the process of a divorce with. It could be females. Um, it could be your boyfriend or someone else's boyfriend. It could be your son or someone else's son. It could be an uncle. Um, it could be your brother. Um, we have elderly energy here. Um, your girlfriend or someone else's girlfriend. And then we have a daughter energy. So it could be your daughter or someone else's daughter. And then it can also just be... Um, other individuals where they just have some type of obsessive compulsive nature that you've moved on from um, that you no longer want to be with but they seem to still be holding on to you so for some of you these are individuals during doing this towards your pregnancy or these are individuals doing this to the fact of you not being able to ever conceive and get pregnant so for those of you with significant placements of Aries in your birth chart, we have the Three of Wands card. So this could entail these individuals have significant placements of fire in their birth chart. The other zodiac sign energies that we actually have here is Gemini, we have Leo, and we have Libra. Um, other energies that we are picking up on, it could be um, a mother energy. So this could be your mother or someone else's mother. Um, we have a daughter energy. So this could be your daughter or someone else's daughter. Um, we have other relative energy, so this could be like cousins and extended family members or someone else's um, other relatives. This could be someone who um, is a girlfriend of yours or someone else's. Um, we have exes here. We have people who you work with or work in your field. Um, we have friends and associates energy here, so it could be people who you look or look at in that manner or friends and associates of any of these other individuals um we have young adults energy here and then we have a new lover so it could be someone who you're newly with okay or the new lover of one of your exes or or some of your exes i guess and then for some of you you have these individuals doing it because they want to reconcile with you they want to get back on i'm hearing good terms and speaking terms with you i also heard the energy of abandoned so it could be um individuals who you have abandoned or who just feel distant or abandoned from you is what i'm getting i'm hearing no time so these could be people who you make no time for or you have no more time left to deal with these individuals meaning like you no longer want to bother with them and these have been individuals um who have they have very dominant energy and i feel like they they have control issues okay um so these could be individuals who you've experienced some type of power struggle with um 
because it's like they want you to do what they say they don't really want you to question them and then these are also individuals who like staunch your sense of individuality and your ability to like be creative and creatively and authentically and genuinely um, express yourself so for those of you with significant placements of Taurus in your birth chart, we have the energy of the Two of Swords here. So this could be people who have significant placements of air in their birth chart, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius placements. Um, we also have the energy of Father. So it could be your father or someone else's father. We have an aunt energy. It could be your aunt or someone else's aunt. We have a sister energy. It could be your sister or other individual's sisters um, or someone you look at like a sister. We have a wife energy. It could be your wife or someone else's wife. Um, we have widow energy. So um, it could be someone who's recently experienced some type of loss or death. We have um, male energy here. So it could be men and we have elder energy. So it could be individuals who are considered elders. Okay. And young adults. So, um, if you notice, no zodiac signs wanted to come out. And I feel this is because you um, may have an inkling, but I feel like you would be totally blown away by who these individuals are. Um, I feel like these are individuals who would just very um, much surprise you yourself. So, I feel like more so for you all, you're being advised to... Um, really like open your eyes and listen to your intuition and tap into that and that's going to really give you a more clear concise idea because I feel like you know more than what you're willing to actually like own up to or accept and I feel like you keep blocking it off trying to deny it so for a lot of you all you've already received like inklings or nudgings about who these individuals are and then I'm also getting these are individuals who essentially like try to block your ability to think for yourself so that's how you would know who they are um so you might want to just pay attention to how you feel around certain individuals like if it's hard for you to think for yourself or um if these are always individuals trying to think for you and tell you what you feel okay because i feel like there's a sense of you having certain wishes and dreams and desires and it gets blocked by these particular individuals so for those of you with significant placements of Gemini in your birth chart, we have the hangman energy here. So the hangman is associated with Neptune, Piscean energy. So it could be someone who has very strong um, Neptune um, placements, um, someone who has very strong Pisces energy um, in their birth chart as well too. Other zodiac signs we have here is um, we have Gemini. So it could be another Gemini individual. We have Libra. We have Sagittarius, um, we have Virgo, we have Aries, and we have Cancer. And then the other energies we have here, we have um, mother energy. So this could be your mother or someone else's mother. We have grandpa energy. So your grandpa or someone else's grandpa. We have daughter energy. So this could be your daughter or someone else's daughter. Um, we have girlfriend energy. This could be your girlfriend or someone else's girlfriend. Um, we have... Or it could be someone who looks at you like a girlfriend, okay? So either they're looking at you like they want to be your girlfriend or or they want you to be their girlfriend. Um, we also have husband energy. So this could be your husband or someone else's husband. We have aunt energy, your aunt or someone else's aunt. We have a sister energy. This could be your sister or someone you look at like a sister. Um, we have single energy. So this could be single individuals okay or maybe someone who you've recently broken up with because we have the ex energy here as well too. So um this could be exes as well um we have father energy so it could be your father or someone else's father we got wife energy this could be your wife or other people's wives um we have someone who's mourned the death of a loved one um we have friend and associate so this could be your friend and associates or other individuals um friends and associates who we're naming here um, we have a new lover, so it could be someone who you're newly involved with. Um, we have other relatives, so this is like extended individuals outside of your immediate family. We have um, mistress and Mr. Energy here, put it where it applies to you. Um, we have masculine energy, so this could be males. Um, we also have co-workers, and I was picking up that energy as well too. Um, 
because there's a lot of uh, musical energy, especially with this Neptune, Piscean energy here. And then I was getting very competitive. So this could be for some of you in your uh, careers is what I'm getting. And then, yeah, we got elder energy, like teenagers, young adults, and middle-aged individuals okay and then it's just the fact that there's individuals who you could potentially be around that just hide very well that they don't like you or that they're you know doing this behind your back okay i'm getting more strongly than anything this is definitely have to do with like your talent your talent and your gift is what i'm more so um very strongly is coming through um as to what this um reckless death magic is the, like essentially the reason I guess so for those of you with significant placements of cancer in your birth chart we have the ace of wands here so this definitely is giving me um, someone with um, significant placements of Aries in their birth chart okay so um, we also have the zodiac signs energy of Taurus here and we have it could be someone who is a co-worker or works in the same industry as you someone who you have a son with um someone who you have a i'm hearing a potential baby girl so this could be something where you're waiting to find out um if this is your child or not i also have a secret crush energy okay and then i'm getting like a very young adult energy here as well too it looks like this is being done towards I'm getting like your ability to create but I'm getting more strongly like your sexual um, your ability to have sex and your ability to um, conceive or like your fertility or your ability to produce children and then for in some instances where you are males this could be um, individuals that have crushes on you that are doing this towards the individual who you're with okay so for those of you with significant placements of leo in your birth chart we have the seven of pentacles so this could be people who hold significant placements of earth in their birth chart um the other zodiac sign energies we have here is uh, libra we have capricorn we have pisces we have aries um, we have um, elder energy here um, we have individuals who secretly are crushing on you um, it could be individuals who you are divorced from um, we have female energy here so it could just be females in general um, we have boyfriend energy so the person who um, you are the boyfriend to or someone else's boyfriend um, we got middle-aged individuals um, it could be someone who you are having legal issues with um, we have grandma energy, so your grandma or someone else's grandma. We have married energy. It could be someone who you're currently married to, okay, um, that you're going through this legal separation with. Um, we have, it could be someone who you have a baby boy with, and then I'm hearing on the way. Someone who you have a baby boy on the way with, and then we also have husband energy. So I'm hearing was someone who you were the husband to, or someone who you currently are the husband to, or someone else's husband okay what i'm also getting is for some of these individuals they feel like um you think you're too good for them and then this could have been a situation where you didn't choose or pick them i'm seeing something to do with like marriage and commitment as well too so these definitely could be other individuals where um maybe they thought that you were going to choose them to settle down with but you chose someone else or you went and started a family with someone else when um it looks like these individuals wanted to have some type of family with you and then these could also be individuals where I'm getting like very strong jealous energy. So um, I'm getting more like um, love interest energy here. So these could be individuals where it was a sense where maybe when you were with them, you acted one way, but then you got with someone else and then you did a completely like 360. So it's almost like you getting with someone else kind of like brought the best out of you or you end up like straightening up and you want it to be like serious and committed. So it could be individuals who are um, jealous that you didn't do that while you were with them. And then I'm also getting a sense of um, these could just be people in general where you had to cut them off because I'm getting like for your mental health and wellness. Um, 
you realize that these people were not good for you okay and these could be people who are upset that you don't want to talk to them okay so they've been waiting for you to like connect with them still and they could be individuals that still reach out to you but it's like these could be people where you um don't speak to them okay or if you do speak to them it's like you keep it very like cut and dry um and keep it about business or you know very um practical in nature it's not like personal when you speak to these individuals so for those of you with significant placements of virgo in your birth chart we have the energy of the eight of cups so this is um and telling it could be individuals that have significant placements of water in their birth chart cancer scorpio pisces placements um the zodiac sign energies we have here is virgo so it could be another virgo individual we have pisces and we have aquarius um we also have the energy of mother so it could be your mother or someone else's mother okay we have daughter energy it could be someone who you have a daughter with okay um or someone else's daughter we have grandpa energy it could be your grandpa or someone else's grandpa uncle energy it could be your uncle or someone else's uncle um we have baby girl so it could be someone who you have a baby girl with and we have um, male energy so it could be men okay and then we also have um so we also have the energy of um, the page of sides. Okay, so I feel like this could have been individuals where you try to see things from a new perspective or you try to have um, a relationship with these individuals, but it's like they continue to show you who they are, um, which is toxic is what I'm getting. So these could be people who you knowingly cut off who are toxic for you um, and you have like complicated type of energies if you were to be around these people it's like they know why you cut them off you know why they cut them off like you you both know what it is um but regardless i'm getting distress energy as well too so these could be individuals that if you were to continue to stay around them or when you would be around them you would feel like a, a energy of distress around them and then i also heard you know who they are so you're quite clear already who these individuals are who is doing this to you Okay, I'm also getting um, very strong familial energy. So these could be people who are your family or who you look at like family or people from maybe like back home where you grew up at. I'm also getting a sense of you started to see people's true colors. So um, there's also a sense of you coming into your own and starting to step into your own identity or your sense of individuality. So it could be that these individuals would try to keep you small or try to keep you from um, essentially they wanted you to conform and to be like them okay and you have your own unique energy so i'm just getting very clear reiterating message like you already know who these people are so for those of you with significant placements of libra in your birth chart we have the ace of pentacles energy so this could be um individuals with strong taurus placements in their birth chart okay um but they could also have other placements of earth in their birth chart we have the energy of the zodiac sign capricorn being here we have libra so it could be an, another libra let me see we have the energy of husband energy here so this could be your husband or someone else's husband we have the grandpa energy here it could be your grandpa or someone else's grandpa we have uncle energy here so it could be your uncle or someone else's uncle um we have a girlfriend energy so it could be your girlfriend someone else's girlfriend the person who you are a girlfriend to um it could be someone who you have a baby girl with i'm hearing on the way okay so it could be someone who you have a baby girl on the way with um we have male energy here so it could just be men okay um and then we have like i'm hearing young tenderonies so it could be like individuals who are like maybe young who you've had some type of relationship with okay and for some of you as well too it could be um energy yeah i'm getting childhood energy so this could be someone who's like your childhood sweetheart okay or someone who you once looked at like a childhood sweetheart and for some of you you may have had to leave this person because you chose work over this individual um is what i'm picking up this individual thought you were going to come back to them but you never did and then for other individuals it could just be someone who you um who thought you were going to s settle down with this individual because you had a child with them uh, 
And then I'm also getting um, the energy of you're well, well aware of who these individuals are, is what I'm getting. So you already know. Okay, and lastly, we have those of you with significant placements of Scorpio in your birth chart. So we have the Four of Pentacles energy here. This could entail that these individuals have significant placements. I'm hearing of strong Earth in their birth chart. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energies is what I'm getting. Um, but we also have the energy of a grandpa. So it could be your grandpa or someone else's grandpa. We have uncle energy here, your uncle or someone else's uncle. We have husband energy here, someone who you are the husband to, okay, or um, someone else's husband, okay. And then we also have divorce energy here. So this definitely could be um, someone who you are divorced from. Um, we have new lover energy, so someone who you are newly with, okay. And we have a secret crush, so you got a secret admirer here. Um, it could be someone who you have a son with okay and then I'm also getting um, like young adult energy here and then there's elders doing this so I'm getting a very strong like you know you know you know who these individuals are and I feel like for some of you in some instances those of you who really know who these people are already who are doing this you already tried to resolve things with these individuals I'm hearing you doubled back so for some of you you could have went back and resumed some type of relationship or connection with whoever these people were at one point in time so i'm hearing you tried to be cool with these people so there was even some instance where you tried to be like the bigger person so maybe you even initiated like trying to like salvage or you know just be cool you know and, and show that you could work with these individuals or that you wanted you were open to having some type of connection or something with these individuals so then it's almost like an instance where you went against your better judgment when you were already like inclined to pull back from these individuals and then they proved to you exactly why you initially wasn't dealing with these people or why you initially pulled away from them to begin with so it's like you i'm hearing like you gave them a hand and they bit it or something like that or you tried to feed them and they bit your hand <laughs> or something like that okay and now i'm hearing like you changed so these could be people who feel like you changed um and you could act like you don't know nobody now okay but i feel like it wasn't you that changed it was them that changed once things changed in your life whatever that may be and then for some of you i'm hearing nope you know you did change you leveled up they just stayed the same I'm getting abuse energies from whoever these individuals are. Um, so it feels like these individuals like could verbally or emotionally abuse you. But then I'm also getting energy of this is like spiritually, psychically as well too. And then lastly, this could be people you peep a lot of shit from, but you just don't say it. And this is kind of why you just kind of stay to yourself or you just keep things to yourself. Um... And then I was hearing, and then they had the audacity to be doing this death magic. So that's all the messages I have for you, beautiful, lovely beings. I want you all to be blessed and make sure you book a personal private reading with me. You can find the link to my website below this video, www.divinelotustarot.com.